Hello, I'm Nick Vandome, author of dozens of In Easy Steps computing books, including several for the popular for seniors range. In this two-part video, I'll be looking at how to get up and running with Windows and Mac computers, iPads, iPhones and Android tablets and smartphones, so you can feel comfortable and confident about using them. I'll also look at cloud computing and show how you can protect your important documents and photos. One of the first things to say about using any computing device is that it is hard to physically break anything, unless you take a hammer to it, which, admittedly, sometimes seems like an appealing option. So, don't feel inhibited about trying new things. Click or tap on buttons and menus just to see what they do, such as changing the background image of your device. This is the way in which you will be able to expand and evolve your computing experience. One of the first things that you should spend some time on with any new computing device is the settings. Although this is not as exciting as browsing the web or looking at the latest family photos, it is something which controls numerous aspects about how your device operates and also has options for customising its appearance. Settings are accessed from the gear icon and although they vary slightly in their design, this is universal across all devices and operating systems. On any device there will be a category of settings for the device itself and individual apps will also have their own settings. So if you see a gear icon at any time, click or tap on it to view the options. Settings can be used for everything from connecting to a Wi-Fi service to specifying how you receive notifications and alerts and changing the way that sounds operate on your device to security and privacy settings and dozens of other elements in between. When working with settings and making changes, it is worth making a note of what you do so that you can always retrace your steps if you want to revert back to an earlier state. One computing term that can sometimes cause some confusion is apps. While using this may be second nature to the young generation, it is not always so clear for those of us who have grown up with older computer terminology. In simple terms, apps are just what we have traditionally called programs. We may still refer to Microsoft Word as a program, but it is also just as likely to be called an app. The term app was originally used on smartphones and tablets, but it has now been used for items on desktop computers and laptops as well. So if you are ever unsure about the use of the word app, just think program instead and you won't go far wrong. So now let's have a look at how to get started with various computing devices, starting with those using Windows 11. The Windows operating system has been around for as long as a lot of people have been using computers, and it remains a significant player in the tech world today. When you first open up Windows 11, the latest operating system from Microsoft, the main difference to earlier versions is that the start button is no longer in the bottom left hand corner by default. Instead it has been moved to a more central position at the bottom of the screen. It is located at the left hand side of the bottom taskbar which has also been moved into the centre. Click on the start button to access the start menu where your Windows apps can be accessed. Your most frequently used apps are located at the top of the start menu and recently accessed items in the bottom panel. Click on the All Apps button in the top right hand corner of the start menu to view all of your Windows apps. Scroll up and down to view your apps or click on a letter to view an alphabetic grid. Click on a letter to go to that section. The apps you use most often with Windows 11 can be pinned to both the start menu and the taskbar so that you can access them quickly from these locations. To do this, access the required app in the All Apps section of the Start menu and right click on the app. Select either Pin to Start or More Pin to Taskbar or both to add them to these locations. To download more apps we're using with Windows, click on the Microsoft Store app on the taskbar or the Start menu to access the online Microsoft Store. Find the required apps and click on the Get button for free apps or the Buy button for paid for apps to download them to your Windows computer. 
For a more in-depth look at Windows 11, check out my book Windows 11 in Easy Steps or keep an eye out for more videos here. That's it for part one of this getting started video. In part two I'll cover Mac computers, iPads and iPhones, Android tablets and smartphones and cloud computing. Until then, thanks for watching and happy computing.